Hey everyone, it's Natasha. I just started decorating for Christmas and I thought I would bring you along and show you a couple new finds I found for our Christmas decor this year that I am in love with. I've shown you before my Salvation Army hauls. Well, yesterday I stopped by and they had a ton of Christmas decorations out. And I knew I didn't want to go up in the attic and get the big tree down this year because I'm not even sure our oldest son is going to be able to be here because he might have to work. And our daughter will be in and out during Christmas break. So I went to Salvation Army to see what I could find for some Christmas decorations. And I happened to find this cute little tree. I fell in love with it. And it was $5. And it is adorable. It has these little birds all the way around it. And it came pre-lit, totally decorated. It has apples and pine cones and cranberries. There's another bird hidden back here. And it's just so cute. And I couldn't believe it for five bucks, completely decorated. It just made my day. So I brought it home and I decided to put it here on my sofa table. I decorate this table up every year for Christmas. It was my grandmother's and after she passed away, I inherited it. And it's it's a it's a nice vintage table. You know, it's not uh, you know terribly old, but it's made of nice wood and it always polishes up really pretty. So, I put that tree out. I've got a couple of my candle luminaries. They're not on right now because they're on a timer, so they'll call, come on by themselves about five o'clock. And then I've got this little wooden candle holder. We got that out in um, Colorado a few years ago when we went to visit friends at the Abbey. And I just think it's so pretty, especially when it's lit up because you can see in there the nativity and then the candle goes on top and I've just got this little um, gemstone angel looking over it. I thought it was really cute. So that I already had. So I got the tree at the Salvation Army and I also found this Santa. He looks like he's ceramic. He's really pretty. I like more of like a... I don't know, an elegant looking darker red for Christmas, so he fit in really well. And then I found this sleigh, which I don't know if you can tell now, it's kind of dark, but it's a burgundy color and I just put some pine cones in there. So I thought this made a really, really pretty, uh, simple Christmas decoration table. And I'm not sure, some years I put a um, garland around my... Um, mirror. I'm not sure I'm going to do that this year or not. I also forgot. I found this um, little wooden box at the Salvation Army. And I had got that um, bust of Jesus when I was in Greece over the summer. And I think this was really cute. Because look, it's got these little drawers. And I told my husband, wouldn't that be cute to just put a little, hide something in there? You know, an extra key or something. So that was my uh, little find. And I, I got this box the tree, the sleigh, the Santa, and also this um, red snowflake, it's got snowflakes on it, tablecloth for $25 for everything. So I was very happy with that. So that's part of my Christmas decor. I also, and this is my cross. Now this cross usually hangs above the fireplace. Well, during the Christmas season, I switch out the cross and I put this picture of the nativity up. My father-in-law gave this to us a few years ago. Um, he lives in Iowa and he was downsizing and I just thought it was so pretty. It's Our kids were young at the time, but it's just one of those special meeting pieces because it belonged to himself and my mother-in-law, so I thought it was really nice. Um, he's a priest in the Catholic Church. He became a priest after my mother-in-law passed away. They had been deacon and deaconesses in the church, and he went to the seminary and became a priest. So we call him Holy Papa. Um, my son started that after he went into the priesthood. They had come to interview um, my the family after um, my father-in-law was ordained, and my son was, uh, I think he was like six at the time, and they asked him what they were going to call him. He, they asked Logan what he was going to call his papa now that he was a priest, and Logan thought for a second, he said, holy papa. So we call him that, or father dad. So um, it's awesome that he was able to become a priest. They had been married for 40 some years and after my, when my mother-in-law passed away and it was something that fulfilled something in him. And uh, so he's retired now, but he still does, says mass once in a while and he is enjoying his retirement in Iowa. So here's another thing. This is our mantle. Now, um, we, this mantle was not original to this house. When we moved into this house, there was just a big old painted 
um, beam, wooden beam across there. And I went to one of my favorite places. It's called Green Oaks Antiques. It is uh, about a half an hour south of here on US 31. And they always have some really neat pieces. Well, I brought this mantle home and it was a mess. It, <laughs> one of the sides over here had, had was broken and it was uh, just all discolored and everything. So I brought it home and my husband goes, I hope they paid you to take that or yeah. And I said, no, I actually paid for it, but not a lot. So uh, I refinished it, I stripped it down and then I put on a um, darker varnish and I just thought it turned out really nice. So that is our mantle. And then today I stopped by Green Oaks on my way home and I found this um, cranberry garland that I put across the mantle. Thought it was so pretty. Now I'm not finished yet. I still have to hang our stockings and I've got uh, some other decorative items that I will put around there, but I haven't gotten them out yet. So that will be coming. I have one other uh, decoration that I did. This is um, a cedar chest. I got my love of refinishing furniture from my mother and uh, this was a cedar chest that she had redone me, redone for me and uh, refinished and it had been in my bedroom. My husband got married and I got married. It came with us. And so it, you, I use it as our coffee table now. So um, this candle holder right here came from Green Oaks, Oaks a few years ago and while I was down there today I picked up a new uh, cranberry candle ring that matched that cranberry garland I showed you. For Christmas so I thought that was simple and nice and that'll be all I've also got this um, snow globe that'll be all that I put on the um, coffee table because when the kids are home and everything they like to set their drinks and whatever on the coffee table so I learned that I just don't put a lot of things out there so that they can use it my mom put a marine varnish on top so if you set anything on it it won't sustain so that is all the Christmas decorations I have up for now um, I may get a few more out. It just depends on um, what my goal, how, how much of my goals I get accomplished. One other thing I don't think I've showed you all that's one of my favorite things that, that I have done in our house is this. Um, it's a um, the uppercase living quote and it came with a clock and I went ahead and I did this before my daughter graduated uh, college this year. And I just thought this was really, really cute. I don't think I've showed you all this side of the um, pantry. This wall is actually the extended pantry that you all have seen where I keep all of my canned goods and everything. So it's just a wall that we built that's between our kitchen and our family room. And behind that is a four by eight food storage room. So anyway, I just love this uh, thing. I took a, several pictures of, of that I put up there that's my son when he graduated college uh, last year, my husband and I. The kids' pictures, I think it's reflecting kind of badly. But um, pictures I took of them this spring, a family photo. Um, this is one of my favorite pictures of my mom. Oh, it's reflecting pretty bad. Of my mom and my dad and my brother. Oh, I don't have very many pictures of all of us together, so I really enjoy that. It was at my wedding. It's a picture I took of Lauren for graduation when she was a baby. There's a family photo from our wedding. That's my grandmother. Um, I was telling you about Bill becoming a priest. That is him and his wife before she passed away. And there's my kids when they were little. They're so cute. And there's a picture up there of my mom and my grandma, which I really cherish because most of them have passed on now. So anyway, that's one of my favorite things that I have done in my living room. And I think you heard Tom meow. Tom, you want to say hi? There's Tom. He's the cat that we rescued. He kind of came in and just took over. And there's Frosty. I don't know where Shelby is right now. But anyway, I wanted to show you all just a few of the things that I have got decorated up for Christmas. And thank you for watching. And we will bring you back when I have a few more things to share with you. Talk to you later. Bye.